SDLHG has been around since the 1980s, and um, I think it has certainly grown. We've got over, as I said earlier, over 800 members. And I think that we have been the voice um, of teaching and learning in, in higher education so that we have become known and recognized across this country as the organization to go to if you want to hear about what's happening in teaching and learning in higher education. And we like that. We like the fact that people are looking towards us. And so where are we going? We're, 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 we're going to spread our, the word, the news, if you like, about <laughs> how wonderful it is to be supportive of teaching and learning. And I'll tell you some very concrete things that we're doing. We're going to be launching a, a Canadian journal for the scholarship of teaching and learning where people can have and faculty members and, and librarians and um, mem people who teach in universities and university colleges and in colleges can have an opportunity to do what they do here, to share in some written form um, that will be online and, have, and give access to uh, 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 people across the country um, share their experiences about teaching and learning and, and their experiences of growing. So that's something for the future, something to look forward to, so that we're not only going to be sharing through the conference, but through the um, electronic media that we have available to us. Um, the other things that, I, I, that we are looking towards doing in the future is ensuring that we are truly inclusive. So for example, we want to make sure that regardless of whether which of the, the national languages you speak, whether it's English or French, that you can find a place in STLHE. So we want to make sure that we, um, in the future, include as many of our Francophone colleagues. I am an Anglophone, but I want to be able to hear what the Francophone co my Francophone colleagues are doing. Um, and so that's, that's another example of, of something that we're working towards, to making sure that we're truly inclusive. We also want to make sure we're truly inclusive of all the regions of Canada. So that this is not, this conference today is taking place in Windsor, Ontario. But we know this is a national, a truly national association. And we want people wherever they are to feel that there's a home for them in STLHG. So one of the things that we, we like to do, we've done in the past and we'll continue to do in the future, is to move the conference you know, across the country. So that next year, for example, it's going to be at the University of New Brunswick. And so we would welcome our colleagues from the Atlantic region who may not have had an opportunity to come to this conference, we're going to welcome them. Of course, everybody else in Canada is welcome as well. Um, those are two of the things that I can think of that we want to be doing in the future. Um, the other thing that we are working on is building partnerships with oh, anybody who wants to partner with us in the, in the, with the goal of promoting teaching and learning. So whether it's a governmental agency or a private sector organization or another professional organization. We want to be partners with people who share our vision, who share our values of innovation, um, good practice, um, collegiality, and so on. We want to be partnering with them. So those are some of the, the things that we're looking to do in the future.